Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna discuss about a factorial randomized block design for 2 and 3 factor using the experimental design or exp uh, ds uh, package. So as usual you have to load uh, the package into our software and for the sake of this tutorial we are gonna use the factorial uh, data which is built in Dubai or research so I'll put this data on a description box then as you can see here here is the replication the first column is represented by replication followed by nitrogen and the third one is the phosphorus potassium yield and planted are uh, the two are our response variables while the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium are factor and here is the block or the replication uh, column uh, so uh, then you have to attach uh, your data using attach uh, function and our data name is a factorial uh, data then uh, if you want to get the name so just type uh, just uh, type names and uh, write the data name in the parentheses so to compute uh, factorial randomized block design for two factor you have to use a fat 2 dot rbd so fat means this is a factorial experiment and, and when you have two indicate when you indicate two means you are going to compute two factor or two way and over then uh, rbd means you are going to to analyze the design for randomized block uh, design then and the parenthesis is followed by the first factor or you can mention the factors that you want to compute as i mentioned there are three factors but i'm uh, uh, by now i'll use the two factors the first one is nitrogen and followed by phosphorus then the replication then followed by the response uh, variable uh, we have two response variables as you can see here yield and planted uh, i select yield then uh, go to qualitative or so telling to r uh, your uh, treatment is, or your factor is qualitative so in order to say qualitative so you have to use true true then the there are a number of multiple comparison tests so i use here uh, the lcd uh, test and uh, you can change into take you can change into duncan you can change into student newman Kelly's test uh, and, and so on then uh, if you want for example this name is uh, too long so if you want to give as other name for the factors so you have to use fac dot names or the factor names then you can change nitrogen into n or whatever it is. even you can change into ni or nitrogen uh, kilogram per hectare or ton per hectare whatever it is then uh, p then again you have to indicate the significant t and the, the significance f value which is the default value 0 0.05 so type this and submit to our studio then you'll get the result so uh, here is the legend is a factor one is nitrogen and designated by nitrogen and the factor two is uh, phosphorus and designated by uh, p and when you come to the analysis of variance table and here is the block uh, we have three replication and the degree of freedom is n minus one so three minus one is also true uh, and two then nitrogen will have we have two levels of nitrogen and two levels of phosphorus and their degree of freedom is uh, one one the interaction of uh, uh, nitrogen and phosphorus that means one times one is obvious is one and here is the error degree of freedom which colors to 8 and so that is 23 and when we come to the p-value uh, unfortunately uh, there is no statistical significance difference among uh, the simple or the main effect as well as their interaction effect since the p-value is uh, greater than uh, 0.05 so we are not expecting uh, mean separation or we are we are not going to mean separation since the p-value is greater than 0.05 and the coefficient of variation, uh, as all of you know, the coefficient of variation which colors the square root of error mean squared over the grand mean times 100%, and the smallest value is uh, preferable since uh, coefficient of variation is direct relationship with that of the error uh, mean square. And as the other thing is here is the, P, the 
normality test and this uh, can be treated uh, on the uh, basis of Shapiro Wilkes and the p value is 0 0.187. So if the test for the assumption is greater than 0 0.05, we consider it is non significant. Non significance means we the assumption of that particular uh, uh, thing is uh, uh, not valid. So under such circumstances, the p value is 0 0.187, and uh, so residual can be considered as uh, normal. Then, uh, so we are not expecting uh, a significant difference because ANOVA table uh, depicted that there is no such a significant difference among the main as well as the interaction or uh, among the simple or the interaction effect. So uh, by this way, you can uh, compute the factorial experiment for two factors using the experimental design package. So let us skip to the third one. The third, uh, so sorry, the second one using uh, factorial randomized block design for a three factor in the experimental uh, design package. So the only things you have to change from the uh, two factor is make two here into three. Then you have to add one factor because here is nitrogen and phosphorus, but you have to add additionally uh, uh, potassium. So nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. And again, you have to tell to R the all your factors nitrogen phosphorus potassium are what uh, a qualitative so qualitative is equal to true means you are telling to r your treatment is qualitative so the multiple uh, comparison test again you are using is LSD. so you can use uh, uh, on the base of your preference then the second the, the other thing that you are going to change is what here is you can assign the factorial names. For example, for nitrogen is N, phos for uh, phosphorus is PH, and for potassium is uh, PT. So you can change this name uh, either in the short form or either in the uh, unit basis. For example, nitrogen uh, in, in, in what? 150 kilogram in uh, ton per hectare or uh, in kilogram per hectare. So type this and submit to our studio. Mind that uh, you have to change two into three, add one factor, and again here is you have to uh, specify true for the third factor, and give the factorial name. This is optional. This is optional. You can omit if you want. Yes, just you can cancel and run with the rest one. But sometimes our treatment maybe it is uh, uh, too large or sometimes too short. So if you want to uh, explain in a more uh, concise form so you have to uh, amend or you can uh, manipulate in using this the factorial dot names uh, uh, function so type this and submit to our studio so the results are still uh, similar but uh, here is the one factor is added comparing to the previous one and again here is the block nitrogen nitrogen phosphorus and potassium main effect again was nitrogen with uh, phosphorus nitrogen with potassium uh, phosphorus uh, with uh, potassium and the interaction of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium are still not statistically significant so uh, we can't uh, uh, we will not go to mean separation even we can get the cv or the coefficient of variation which is nine 5.3, and again, we can consider uh, the assumption uh, of normality is not uh, valid. So we can consider it as uh, normal, and their main or simple effect as well as interaction effect is not statistically significant. So this is all about today's tutorial regarding to uh, two factor and three factor for randomized, uh, for factorial randomized block design using experimental design package. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.